I am Nupur and I have come with my bag of stories. Dur dur chaliye. Dur dur dur. Dur dur chaliye. Dur dur dur. So now we are in a village where lived an old woman. That old woman had magical powers, but she was very wicked. Actually, her name was not a name, it was a number and the number was five. A lot of times she wondered why her parents chose such a weird name. Had been teased and taunted because of her name ever since she was a child. If she would be sitting and resting under a tree, the children would gather around her and say, Oh, where did all the mangoes go? Oh, can you count how many are there? And the other kid would count, Ah, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> and now that she'd become old, she's grown up, she decided to put an end to this name calling. And one day, when the entire village was fast asleep, she took a big earthen pot and she went into the woods. And when she went, it sounded like ram pa 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 ram. Place that earthen pot on the fire. And she took a big lump of mud. Plunk. She dropped it in the pot. And then she poured some water into the pot. And then she stirred the mixture. Once the mixture started boiling, she went around the forest looking for a dead monkey and when she found a monkey she squeezed his blood into the pot Ew. Ew. and that was not the end she picked a handful of squiggly wiggly worms and she dropped them into the pot and she pulled out a rhinoceros horn and dropped it into the pot and then she did something really yuck. She went deep into her nose. Okay. Yeah. Deep. And she found something in her nose. And she made a ball out of it. Dropped that into the pot and she went on stirring. Hoo, hoo, ha, ha. Kept on stirring only till five drops of mixture was left in the pot. And then she sprinkled that in different directions and she spelled out a curse that from today, whoever utters the word five will. And in five's village, there lived a cunning spider whose name was Anansi. He decided to make the curse work for himself. So one day Anansi walked on the road that led to the market and under a huge tree he decided to make his plan work. He took some rich brown soil from the side of the road and he made five. Then once those hills were ready he planted yam on those hills and he spun a web and he started living on that tree. Oh where are you going with those carrots? They look really fresh. Yeah. They're from my farm. I'm going to the market to sell them. Oh, I won't hold you for too long. You will see. <laughs> Planted some here. I was always sick as a child. Never went to school. Don't know how to count. Can you please count for me? Why do you have a simple? So the rabbit started counting. One. Everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Mrs. Hen. He was, oh, Mrs. Hen, I won't take too long. But I must tell you, I was always sick as a child. I never went to school. <laughs> I don't know my count there. <laughs> Can you help me count? Now, Mrs. Hen had heard all about Anansi's trick. And she flew and she sat on one of the hills. And she started counting. One. One, two, three, four, and the one I am sitting on. Can you count for me once again? And she flew 
and she sat on one of the hills and she said one two three four and the one my bum is on he said wait I'll show you how to count one two three four five a Nancy disappeared in thin air